Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're taking a look at Straight Ahead Jazz Horns version 2, released by Impact Soundworks. Straight Ahead Jazz Horns downloads as about 23 gigabytes. It's a contact player instrument, meaning it's compatible with both a full and free version of contact for 5.5.2 or higher. The library comes with over 75,000 samples, and you've got 16-bit and 24-bit instruments. Straight Ahead Horn sells for $249. Be sure to include a link in the description below. I'd love to invite you to join the Sample Library Review VIP list. Just head over to samplelibraryreview.com and look for the join VIP list. That way we'll be able to send you a little digest every week talking about the new written reviews and videos we publish, as well as some special offers and freebies from our developer friends. We're going to dig into straight ahead jazz horns. I'll show you some of the instruments, but first let's check out these multis. This is what got me very excited about straight ahead jazz horns. The team over at Impact Soundworks has scripted this pretty crazy and powerful engine, which will allow you to play chords in your left hand and melodies that automatically harmonize from an index of thousands of jazz harmonization voicings. So this multi-script is taking our little triads we're playing in the left hand and then using intelligent arranging in the instrument to distribute the voices across all the instruments that are loaded up. And as you can see, there's six different multis here. Um, you've got with just uh, trumpets, trombones, five sax mix, full ensemble, which is what I was just playing uh, right on the keyboard. That wasn't any programming in MIDI. That was just me playing in real time. And then pop horns. Library comes with 13 deep sampled solo instruments. You got trumpets. trombones, and three different saxophones. All the instruments have a two different microphone positions, the full Impact Soundworks effects rack, and use Impact Soundworks total articulation control technology, which gives you a ton of options for customizing how you would change your articulations, everything key switch, velocity, CCs, key or pedal. Now, if you want to do a deep dive here, there's an advanced panel, which really lets you start to tweak out these different parameters. So you get the most realism. All of them are able to be MIDI CC learned. Now with the time I've gotten to spend with the instrument, I really felt like some of its strength are these softer dynamics. They're 
so present, you can almost hear that spittle. And I think the demos really show that off. Another pro here is the articulation selection is consistent throughout all of these instruments. It's a very easy to plug and play to just kind of get started. You can poke around with the articulations, get some very realistic playing. The sustained phase alignment, turning that on really will smooth out your playback. Another huge pro on my list here, of course, is the smart voicing scripting. Absolutely love this, and I can't wait to experiment with it even more. Now, if you've seen a lot of my reviews, you know I don't talk about price too much because I think that is so relative to your level and also what kind of projects you're working on. But with this straight ahead jazz horns, I'm gonna have to say that one of the pros is the price because in order to get this close to a realistic kind of a jazz horns style playback, you used to have to spend about 10 times as much as what they're asking for this library. There's a couple cons here for me with the library. Number one, it's got a little bit of a learning curve. You're going to have to take some time to learn this articulation switching system. Then you're also going to need to spend a little time to learn how to best utilize and program the smart voicing scripting that they've incorporated into those multis. Now, in the official Impact Soundworks Straight Ahead Jazz Horns video, Andrew Aversa shows off how you could take this multi and actually run it out to other channel strips, meaning that you'd be able to trigger these chord voicings across just about any instrument you have that you could load into your DAW. Now, unfortunately, I am using Logic, which seems to be very difficult to actually do that. After spending about an hour and a half in the environment and searching through different forums, threads, I was still left scratching my head. So if anybody has any step-by-step -step tutorials or videos on how to send MIDI to the outside world through contact to another MIDI input in Logic, please send me a link. I'd love to figure that out. Which leads me to my last con to close out the review here, and that's that with some of this exciting brass stabs, that Latin kind of feel, I didn't quite buy it. Maybe it just fell in the uncanny valley and it might just be me, my ears, because I've played brass most of my life. So just as I felt the strength of this library isn't the smooth, soft brass, that spittle dynamic, I felt that the weakness in those hits and the stabs of the high, exciting energy dynamics. So what about you? Is this the kind of library that fit into your work? Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. And head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news and reviews. Mm -hmm.